Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I'm doing the 10 cards one kit video for the Love From Lizzie November 2017 card kit. It's a wonderful Christmas themed card kit and unfortunately this kit did sell out. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it's actually sold out really fast. <laughs> But um, I want to share my 10 cards with you today. Now I'm going to start off with card number one and a piece of vellum. Um, in the stamp set, there is this beautiful wood grain star. I'm going to stamp it three, time three times with my Versamark ink on top of the vellum, just straight across. And then I'm going to go over it with some Nouveau Classic Gold embossing powder. And then I went ahead and heat set that. I think it's just a gorgeous image and I, I love the wood grain. I think I love the organicness of it. <laughs> but I'm going to take my scissors and just fussy cut out the top part of that vellum. I did leave a little bit of an edge on it. Now once we have that done, I'm going to trim down this beautiful pattern paper to four and a quarter by five and a half inch. That's going to cover my entire card base. I'm going to secure that vellum to the very bottom of that panel. Lovely. Okay, once I have that done, um, I'm going to use this beautiful gold specialty cardstock that came in the kit. And then I actually, had, in my stash, had found a die that matched the size of that star perfectly. Now, this is not necessary to have a die to do this. You could actually um, um, trace around it. I think it'll work just fine. But I cut out three of the stars in the same row that I had them on that panel. Now next, I'm going to take my paper trimmer and trim off the very top part of those stars. This card, I wanted to be a little bit different, and so I thought it'd be neat to just show um, showcase the top part of the stars on the kit, or in the card. <laughs> okay, now I trim that down, and now I'm going to work on my sentiment. I chose the sentiment that says, Believe in Magic, and this was actually the scrap paper from the pattern paper that I had trimmed out earlier. Now Lizzie's kits come with peel-offs. Um, if you're not familiar with peel-offs, they're a real thin sticker. And these are a beautiful gold color. Um, peel-offs are available in Lizzie's shop if you want to check them out. They're lovely for edging on your cards. Now I popped that panel up and placed it on top of the other panel. Give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going to flip this entire thing over and add some uh, tape behind it. And I'm going to secure that to my card base. I'm just using my white card base for this. Um, to finish it off, I'm going to add a few of the gems that came in the kit. And that's it for card number one. Okay, now for card number two, I wanted to use this beautiful, I love these at Christmas time, oh my goodness. These are like a truffle, kind of. I'm, I'm sure there's a proper name for them, but I'm calling them a, a truffle bobble. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm taking my Distress Inks. This is actually Walnut Stain, and I'm coloring it in. These are wood veneers. I'm going to color it in with my Distress um, Inks and using my finger doppers. I'm just um, going in with the holly leaves with some shabby shutters. Very easy to color in. So um, once I have that done, I'm going to take some double-sided tape. I'm going to tear off a little strip and then place that bobble right on top of my double sided tape. So the inside of there is tacky and sticky. I'm just going to trim off the excess. So there we have it. Now for the inside I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm using some, this is white chunky glitter. I'm just going to press it in, inside that double sided tape area. That way I have a little bit of shimmer on there. Love that. Now I did from my stash, I added a few red gems just to give it a little bit of color. And then we're going to work on our panel, our sentiment. I love the sentiment. This is the cut apart that came in the kit. There was 12 of them. It says, all is calm, all is bright. And I wanted to do some faux stitching, or actually not, this is actually real stitching, not faux stitching, <laughs> around the entire edge of this. So this is a die from Paper Smooches. It's called Dots and Dashes. And so I used the dot and I cut um, dots out all around that the edge of that panel. And then I'm taking this cording. It's a beautiful, like a coppery, goldish cording. I just threaded it through my needle. And then I'm going to use some double-sided tape and adhere the end to the back there. And then um, I'm just going to do a little sewing. I'm, I did every other hole 
that was punched out and then I just secured the, the remaining um, cording on the back with another piece of double sided tape. Now I'm just going to pop that up with some foam tape and then I'm going to take the rest of the cording and I tied a bow with it. Um, I actually looped it three times and then I, I gathered it in the middle with a glue dot. I'm going to place that up in the corner there and then I'm going to pop up my little truffle with some dimensional adhesive and I'm going to place that right over the bow. Now these gems actually came in a previous Love From Lizzie kit but they matched that cording perfectly so I'm just going to add a few here and there. And that's it for that card. Now we're going to move on to card number three. Now for card number three I wanted to let you guys know, this is a stencil, sticky back stencil, and I love sticky back stencils, but this is kind of delicate, so if you did get the kit, I suggest you peel it off of the plastic backing upside down, so the triangles are upside down. Um, I had peeled it off right side up, and I broke off two of my little Christmas trees. Not good. <laughs> so be really careful when you peel this off, and I suggest peeling it off upside down. I had to trim it off just to fix my, my mess up. But I did, um, the kit came with a Tim Holtz um, Picket Fence Distress Crayon. I went over each of those little Christmas trees. And then I'm going over the top of that with some Distress Inks. For the bottom I use Salty Ocean. And then for the middle I'm using Antique, um, antique Linen. And then I did do a top layer of um, tea dye Distress Ink. And you can see it's very faint. Um, you can see the trees in the very faintly in the background, and I, real soft. I like that effect. I added some water and activated that ink, <clears throat> and I love the outcome of this. It's very soft background. Once that was dry, I cut out a panel um, using one of my rectangle dies, and then I also popped it up with some um, fun foam. Now for this sentiment, I wanted to use this sticker that says Happy Holidays, but I wanted to die cut it out, so I'm going to cut the entire sticker out. I want that backing on there, that way it doesn't stick to my die cut machine. <laughs> now I grabbed the circle die from my stash, and I'm just going to trim that out. Now when I did that, the top part, um, my circle didn't fit all the way. You could see the straight edge on the top, but I wasn't worried about that because I was going to turn this into a Christmas bulb. I'm just adding a piece of fun foam behind that sticker there. I'm going to peel off the backing and place that right in the center. Now the kit came with this beautiful ribbon. It has gold edging on it. Using my tape runner, I'm just going to secure it to the center of that circle and flip it over to the back and trim it off. And then I'm going to just tuck it on that fun foam. My fun foam is sticky back, so it worked out good. Now I'm going to tie a bow. I actually tied it a couple times. Didn't get it right the first time. But I tied my little bow and I'm going to trim off the ends. And then I'm just going to place it right in the center with a glue dot. Now for some bells and whistles for this one, I'm going to use those beautiful gold gems and um, go around that wreath area of the sentiment. And then I'm going to add three of the stars that came in the kit. I'm going to remove my backing, and for the card base for this one, I'm going to be using this beautiful blue, it's a real deep blue, um, card base. I forgot. I kind of left one space open. I had to add one more gem. <laughs> and that's it for that card. Now for card number four, we're going to make a snowflake card. Now I'm trimming down this specialty card stock. It's a beautiful regal blue. It's it got a beautiful shimmer to it. The camera, it kind of looks... Um, like a royal blue, but it's actually a deep blue. It's beautiful. I'm going to use this pattern paper here and this sticker. I use the sticker as a guide on um, the size of the panel that I wanted. And then using some peel-offs from a previous Love From Lizzie kit. They're beautiful silver. I thought silver and blue just go so well together. I'm going to add that to, to the left and right edge of this panel. And then I, I'm also going to go around the frame of that wonderful sentiment sticker just to add a little bit of shimmer. 
Okay, now for this card base, I am going to be using the light blue one. I'm going to take that beautiful shimmer paper and take these strips and put them on the left and right of it. And then I popped up my, slow, my snowflake um, pattern paper with some foam tape and I'm going to place that right in the center. I'm going to peel off the backing of my fun foam here. I popped this sentiment up here. I'm going to place it on my card base. And then I'm going to use some pattern paper um, that came in the kit again. This one has real pretty blues. I'm going to cut out three circles with this. And then using the little uh, wooden snowflakes, these are beautiful um, wood veneers, I'm going to go in. This is um, a hero hue. It's unicorn. Um, it's a pigment ink, which is really nice because it stays sticky so you can emboss. So I'm going to emboss the top of that with some Nuvo um, embossing powder. This one is called Shimmering Pearl and it has a little bit of an iridescent to it. And I thought that would make a real pretty snowflake. So I just went ahead and heat set that with my heat tool to all three of those. Now he has some real pretty shimmery snowflakes. Now I'm going to add my circles to my panel and then I'm going to place the snowflakes in the center of each of those circles and I did pop the snowflakes up with some foam adhesive. And then I'm taking one of the little stickers that came in the sticker sheet that says let it snow and I'm going to pop that up right underneath the wonderful. I did grab some blue gems from my stash and place them in the center of those snowflakes. And that's it for that card. Now for card number five, I wanted to use this snowflake die that came in the kit and I'm going to cut out three snowflakes with this is the pearl um, shimmery pearl cardstock. Beautiful. So I cut out three snowflakes and I'm going to use this cut apart here. Love the trees in this. I think I just love that. To finish, give it a finished look, I just cut out the edges uh, um, with a stitch rectangle die. That way I have stitching on the edges. And then I cut out a panel using this pattern paper here. Once I have that done, I'm going to adhere that pattern paper to my card base. For this card base I'm using a brown, the dark brown card base. Adhere that and then I'm going to pop up, actually no, I have some white jute cord for my stash. I doubled it up and I'm going to tie a bow. I'm going to tie the bow to the left of the card, of this little cut out here. Just going to trim off the ends there. And then I did pop that um, cut apart up with my fun foam. Lovely. I'm going to place that right in the center of my panel. And then I'm going to add my little snowflakes. I put two in the top left or top right and then one right underneath my bow. Now for the sentiment for this card, I chose the, the sticker and the sticker set that says Believe. It has a beautiful blue and brown gradient color. I just popped that up with some um, fun foam too. And I'm going to place that between both of those snowflakes there. And that's it for that card. Now for card number six. Now I have a window frame die. If you don't have a window frame die, you could use your rectangle dies to create a window. I think it would work just fine. But I'm going to cut out my little window frame. I'm going to make a shaker card for this. Lizzie's kit did come with this beautiful um, snowflake acetate. So I'm going to cut out a piece and I'm just going to adhere that behind my window frame there. I did remove the plastic backing. It's nice because it's protected. It keeps it really shiny. And then just using my foam tape, I am going to add foam tape all around it. And I did do the inside of the window panes too. I thought that that would be a um, nice way to keep my sequins up, up high so you could see them. I'm using the sequins that came in the kit and I added it to each four of my little window panels. And then I cut out a panel with this birch tree pattern paper. I'm going to place that in the center. I'm always nervous about doing this <laughs> because if I get it crooked it's like I have to start all over. But I did get <laughs> Now I am going to stamp this beautiful um, Christmas tree. My wood grain Christmas tree. Again I'm using Versamark ink and then I'm just going in with some blue embossing powder for my stash. I think that looks gorgeous. 
Now I'm just going to fussy cut that out. That's going to go in the left corner here. Now for the sentiment, I wanted to stamp, the sentiment says uh, Winter Wonderland, and then also the sentiment that says Gift of Giving. I'm just going to go in with my VersaFine ink. But I wanted to do something a little bit special, so I added, um, I turned these little sentiment strips into tags. I fishtailed the ends, and then using my, my crocodile, I punched a hole in them, and then I secured a few eyelets. These are brown eyelets in the very front part of the sentiment. So I created two little tags. I did take my white two cord and wrap it around the tree trunk a few times and I tied a knot. And I'm just gonna thread my little sentiment tags through that two cord. Now, once I have that done, I thought it just needed something else. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up untying that bow I'm gonna, well first I'm gonna secure it to my card base. I'm using the white card base for this panel here. But I'm gonna untie that bow and tie it in a knot. And then Lizzie's kit came with this beautiful gold ribbon. It's just shiny and pretty and it goes with the sequins perfect. And so I tied a little bow, I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. And then using a glue dot, I'm gonna secure it to the bottom of the tree. And then I wanted my little tag strings to hang over a little bit, so I just secured them at a kind of looping it with a glue dot. I'm going to trim off the ends there. Lovely. And that's that card. Now we're going to move on to card number seven. This card is so, I think it was, it's so pretty. I really like the way this turned out. Um, tons of specialty papers in this kit and I chose for this card the the matte gold it's just gorgeous I cut out a strip and placed it to the left of my card base I'm using the tan card base for this and then I cut out um, a panel with the pine cone pattern paper I love that pattern paper now I'm taking that extra the leftovers of the pattern paper and I'm cutting out two pine cones they were really easy to do, and um, I wasn't too worried about cutting out each of those little pine cones to detail. I think it, it they blended really well, especially now I'm going over it with my Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now I'm going to pop those up with some foam tape or some dimensional adhesive hair. And then I'm going to take that gold ribbon was just sitting there and I thought that would look really pretty um, to cover the seam on this card. So I'm just using some score tape, placing it on that seam, and then I'm going to add my ribbon. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and trim off the top and the bottom. And then I did tie a bow with some of it too. Now I'm taking this. It's okay, baby. I'm taking this, this is um, navy blue wire, and I love this stuff. I am going, to, I'm going to make a bow, basically. Um, it's a three loop bow, and I kind of just spreading out the loops on either side. And then I'm going to secure it to my card base with the glue dot. I actually use like three of them. I want to make sure it stayed put. <laughs> and then I'm just going to arrange my pine cones there. lovely it's okay baby and then I'm gonna just trim down this bow and I'm gonna place it right on the very top part of my pine cones using a glue dot as well now for my sentiment for this card I'm going to use the joy to the world sticker I did add some foam um, foam tape behind it and I placed a little bit overhanging on the one of the pine cones and then using that again that gold specialty cardstock I'm gonna cut out using the Merry Christmas die that came in the kit I'm gonna cut that out I'm just gonna secure it to my card using my multimedia mat it's okay baby and then um, finishing touches I added some of the um, the Nouveau Crystal Drops that came in the kit. Beautiful. Love the color of those. Now for my next card, I wanted to use some of this um, white pearlish 
specialty paper and create two little snow hill backgrounds. There wasn't much of the paper left, so I was I was trying to make it to where I could use um, the most of it that I could, <laughs> and it worked out good. I got lucky, but I I created two snow banks just using one of my um, my border dies. And then I adhered the first one down to my panel. The panel that I'm using is from the pattern paper that came in the kit. And then I'm going to pop the, the bottom one up with some foam tape here. And place that directly on the bottom. Okay. Now I wanted to, I wanted to use the little Christmas trees in this pattern paper. So I'm going to fussy cut three of those out lovely and I am going to finish off the edges with some vintage photo distress ink and then um, Lizzie included these these wooden dowel well not really dowels dowels around but these wooden sticks and I thought they would be perfect to add the trees to so I just used my score tape and adhere the trees um, behind it as if they were um, um, decorations or even tree trunks I put three of them in a little cluster to the left of the card there and I think that looked that looks so fun <laughs> now for the sentiment for this card I'm going to use that joy sticker I'm going to flip it over and add my fun foam peel off the backing there and I'm going to place that in the right corner here lovely now I'm going to place that entire panel on that navy blue cardstock card base right in the center and then once I have that done I thought it needed a little bit more white so I'm, I'm making my own little snowflakes with my white gel pen very simple card but I think the outcome was so pretty and I love those wooden sticks I think that adds so much to a card now we're going to move along to card number nine now this one I wanted to do I wanted to do something a little bit different so I'm going in with some salty ocean and some blueprint sketch I just blended two of them together and then I'm also going to go in with my walnut stain and then um, my tea dye all of these are distress inks now I'm going to cut out the blue area I have in my stash I have a circle frame I'm going to cut out a frame with that and then for the brown area it would be perfect for the reindeer. Here I just activated the ink with some water. But the cutest little reindeer came in the kit. So I'm going to cut that out. Now I did, I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to the reindeer. So I cut out one reindeer with the distress inks there and then two with white cardstock. I kind of missed that part, but I layered three of my little reindeers together so they were real sturdy and dimensional. Now, I cut out my frame and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate it to where the lighter color is on top now. And then I'm going to take the inside of that and using the Noel from the stamp set, I'm going to use Versamark ink and added white embossing powder. And then I just heat set that. Now, I tried to cut out the vellum with my stitch rectangle die and it didn't work out too well. Um, I didn't. I, I just figured it was easier to fussy cut it out. I'm sure if you probably used a shim plate, it would work. But um, I just trimmed that out, and I'm going to place that center of the circle right in the center of the acetate sheet. And then I flipped it over, and then I'm going to use that center circle to glue this to my card base. Now for my card base for this one, I'm going to be using the tan cardstock. The nice thing about this tan cardstock is that there's um, texture on it so it shows behind the, the acetate and I thought it looked really pretty. I popped up my frame here and I'm going to place it right over that circle in the center. Lovely. And then I'm going to glue down my little reindeer and I put him right be um, below the sentiment that says Noel. Lovely. Now a few little bells and whistles. I, I cut out three of the snowflake, snowflakes using uh, the remainder of that pearl shimmer paper 
I used the, every, almost every last drop of that. I loved it. <laughs> and then I'm going to add um, a few snowflakes around that circle area. I'm just using my uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere them down. I wanted this, the last one to be tucked kind of underneath that frame, so I'm going to trim that snowflake down a little bit. lovely. For a little bit of bling, I took the sequin mix and I grabbed three of the light blue iridescent sequins and I placed that in the center of those snowflakes. And that's it for that card. Very different, but I think it was so fun and so pretty. Now for our final card, I wanted to use this Christmas tree pattern paper. So I'm trimming it down to fit my card base to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to adhere that directly to my card base. I have the light blue card base here. I'm going to place that on the entire surface, front surface of it. Now I did go ahead and use the stripe pattern paper and cut out a, um, a circle frame. And then using my tape runner, I'm just going to secure that frame directly in the center of my card base. Lovely. Now I'm going to use, for my sentiment, oh no, before I did that, I am going to use the beautiful gold peel-offs. These are actually really super easy to go around, um, not just straight areas, but curved areas too. But I did notice the ends kind of peeled up a little bit, so you might need to secure the ends down with a multimedia mat, that way they stay put. But it's a beautiful accent to um, any card. I'm just going to color in the top part of the snowflake using my unicorn ink, my Hero Hue pigment ink there. And I went ahead and dried that just to speed up drying time. Now for my sentiment, I want to use the sticker, but I didn't want the stripe, stripe background. So I'm just going to fussy cut that stripe background off. <laughs> and then I popped it up with some um, front foam there, placed that right in the center. I'm going to add a dimensional adhesive to the center of that sentiment area and then pop up my little snowflake there. And that's it. That's it for that card. Very simple, but I think the outcome of is really, really fun. Here's a quick look at all 10 cards that I made today. If you got this kit, um, I hope this gives you some ideas and inspiration. But um, um, let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. I wish you a fantastic day. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I know, um, I'm sorry again that Lizzie's kits sold out. They do sell out pretty fast. So um, to be guaranteed a kit, you might want to think about um, subscribing um, and get a kit delivered to you every month. They're jam-packed full of lots of goodies. Well, I wish you a fantastic day, and um, we'll, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.